Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Problems Number One Ten. Math Problems Number One Ten. Okay, so we have been working uh, last week and this week on algebraic expressions. Yeah. And up until this problem, we've always been doing stuff that's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Which is integer coefficients. And the few that we did that had fraction coefficients actually went away because it was like 4x over 2. Yeah. Okay, so now we have some fractions. Mm -hmm. What do you think you want to do here? Well, well, you could... You, had an, you, you have to simplify. Okay, what do you mean? Tell them that's a good, that's a good start. How do you want to simplify? Well, every, every, number, it's, every number is prime. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Well, you could split it a bit. Okay. This would be x over 3. x over 3. I like that. Minus 7, minus 7 over 3. Minus 7 thirds, okay. Minus... 5 over 2. Minus 5 over 2. Minus x over 2. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Well, there, there's a minus sign there. Where? It, there's, a, there's a minus x. Yeah? So minus x over 2. Are there any other minus signs? There's one, there's one next. Oh, oh, you think this, what happens? I have minus this whole expression here. So I get minus 5 halves, and I also get minus, minus x over 2. Hmm. Hmm, what's that? Maybe you don't need the minus sign. Yeah, what do you think minus, minus x over 2 is? My, it's going to be... It's going to be adding something positive to, yeah. my, to negative. Yeah. So this is going to be plus x over 2. Okay, good. So we split it apart. Now we have some num num things that we can deal with. What do you want to do next? Well, we could try, well, we could try, well, this is going to be really, this, we could try to find the common denominator. Oh, good idea. Very good idea. Because we we have these threes and twos, and okay. the common denominator is six. Okay, awesome. So what do I have to do then? If I want to get a common denominator of six, what do I have to do to this term? You have to multiply it by two over two. Which so is what does it become? Two two x over six. Two x over six. Okay. Min minus. Uh, 14 over 6 and minus, minus 15 over 6 plus 3x over 6. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now we have some, now we have some, uh, now we can just Add, add, add and subtract. Right, because everything is divided by 6 now. Yeah, but, yeah, we, then, so, f we can do the integer part, and we can do the number and non-number part. Okay, which one do you want to do first? Let's do the number part. Okay. So, this is 14, 6, minus 15, 6, it's minus 1, it's, it's minus... Minus 14, 6, minus 15, 6, so it's going to be 29, 20, minus 29, 6. Minus 29, 6. So we got, I already got my 6 on the bottom. Bah! Don't look at that 6. Look away! Bah! 29, 6. Okay, so minus 14, minus 15 is? It's minus 29. Minus 29, and I already had my 6. Yeah. Okay. What about the non-numbers? Now, the, the 2x plus 3, the 2x over 6 plus 3x over 6, it's going to be 5x over 6. 29 plus 5x over 6. Okay, so, I like this approach. You said I have some fractions, let's split them apart. Then you got a common denominator. Yeah. And then you combine the, the like terms on the top. Minus 14 minus 15 was minus 29, and 2x plus 3x was 5x. Now you do have to be careful with those minuses, minus. right? Right? Yeah. Don't let those become secret invisible minuses. Right? Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, now normally what we'd like to do is just check a number here. Yeah. And so let's just pick, pick a number. What's an easy number here? Like maybe two. Two, okay. So here we would get minus 29 plus 10 over 6, which is... Yeah, that's ni 19... That's 19... Oh, mi minus 19 over 6. Don't let that become a secret divisible minus. Minus 19 over 6. When I put an x equals 2 up here, I get 2 minus 7, which is... Which is minus 5 over 3. Minus 5 thirds, and then I get minus 5 minus... 2, so 5 minus 2 is, is 3. So I get minus 3 halves. Now we can find the same common denominator. Okay, so what does this turn into? That's minus 10 over 6 and, min and minus, minus 9 over 6. This is min it's, min it's 9. Minus 19 over 6. Just like we got. Good job. Oh, that was a tricky one with fractions, right? Yeah. Good job.